Hi guys. Happy last day of April. Ready for a good morning song? Good morning, good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well, I thank you. Very well, I thank you. And you, and you. Y ahora en español. Buenos días, buenos días. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted, y tú. Maybe there's two different endings for that. Awesome. Let's talk about what we're doing for today, the last day of April, April 3rd. So we talked earlier about starting the day with social skills. And as you know, the social skill focus of the week is asking for help. Mom, could I help cutting my meat? Dad, I can't get my jacket zipped up. It's really hard to do. It might seem like an easy one, but sometimes kids just get really, really frustrated and they don't ask for help. So this morning, it's just a quickie little check. And every time you ask for help, you can go ahead and, um, and give that little an X, okay? So the next part of our day is word work. So let's take a look at this, the N family and the ED family. So step one, read these consonant vowel consonant words b ed bed b n pen so first practice reading the words then it's your choice you can either cut them out and glue them with your glued stick into their family or you can just write them and then remember the challenge the challenge is write a sentence that has some of these words in it so, how about, um, oh, I know someone who has hens. Sutter. Sutter fed his 10 red hens. Oh, I bet you could come up with a sentence too. And if not, just write mine. After that, we will do number corner with Mr. Hernandez. 155 days of school. That is a lot of kindergarten. Wait till you see how he counts the number of days of kindergarten. It is so crazy. You're going to be thinking this, Mr. Hernandez. Um, after that, guys, for math today, we do ST math on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So today is an ST math day. If you are done with your ST math syllabus, then we would like you to do the activity of the day. Um, for writing, there's a little video, a quickie video, it's only two minutes, about telling a little story to make your writing uh, have a voice, okay? Um, next, send us a recording. So friends, you know how we've been working on not reading word by word, but by scooping up our words with our eyes and trying to make our reading sound like real talking. Well, Miss Lab, Miss Lazine and I, we would like you to make a recording of yourself. I've already gotten three recordings from kids and it's so fun to hear them read. So let me show you right now how to do it. Can you see my screen? So as you can see, first you're gonna go to the reading room. And once you've done that, pick a book that you really like. If you can see at the bottom, there is a headset, a book, and a question mark. I don't know what the question mark is. Go ahead and just click on the book. Okay, here we are. So at the very top, there's a little teeny tiny microphone. That's what you're going to do. You're going to click on that and then just click on the book as you always do when you read. Okay? Okay, so send us a book tomorrow. Can't wait to hear it.